Hey guys, we are being asked which of these ordered pairs are a solution for this equation, okay? And also, if you want to stick around to the end of the video, I will tell you a funny story about recording this video, <laughs> okay? All right, here we go. So, when I have an ordered pair, my first number is considered an x, second number is considered a y, okay? So, we want to know, so this equation could be graphed as a line. Okay, if you haven't gotten to that point in your math journey yet, don't worry, we're not going to graph it yet. But this could be graphed as a line, and we're wondering if these points are on that line. Okay, so to do that, we're going to plug in our first number for x, our second number for y, and see what happens. Okay, so I've got y equals, so I'm going to write it as 6 equals 4 times x, which is 2, minus 2. Okay. Order of operations, I multiply first. So I'm going to do 6 equals 4 times 2 gives me 8 minus 2. Okay? 8 minus 2 gives me 6. So I end up with 6 equals 6, which is true. So yes, this ordered pair is a solution. If we were to graph this line, 2, 6 would be on it. Okay? All right. Let's look at our second one. Again, my first number is considered my x. My second number is considered my y, okay? So I'm going to write this as 18 equals 4 times x, which is 5, or we're seeing if it can be 5, minus 2, okay? So I'm going to have 18 equals 4 times 5 gives me 20. We still have the minus 2, okay? 20 minus 2 is 18, so I end up with 18 equals 18, which is true. So yes, this one is also a solution. Okay. Now, oh, we've got one with a negative, but we can handle it. First one is my x, second one is my y, okay? So y equals 7 equals 4 times x, which we are seeing if it can be negative 3, minus 2. Okay. All right. I'm going to multiply first. So seven equals four times negative three. Positive times a negative gives me a negative 12 minus two. Oh, not looking good, right? We're going to end up with seven equals negative 12 minus two. That's like, I owe you $12. I borrow two more dollars. So now I owe you $14. All right. Seven does not equal negative 14, right? So negative three, seven is not a solution for this equation. It's a solution for a different equation, but not this one. Okay. So first one is my X. Second one's my Y. Y equals, so negative six equals four times X, which we are plugging in negative one minus two. Okay. Negative six equals four times negative one gives me negative four minus two. Negative six. Again, this is like, I owe you $4, I borrow two more dollars, so I owe you $6. Negative six does equal negative six, so yes. Okay, are you ready for my sad, funny story? Okay, I recorded this video, and I forgot that my, my camera was on 10 times speed, because yesterday I recorded a short where I wanted my hands to go all fast, right? So I recorded it, and I realized, I was like, oh, dang it, I left it at 10 times speed. So then I went and printed it out again, and did it again. But guess what? I forgot <laughs> to change it back again. And then I recorded another one. So I recorded three videos at 10 times speed, which helps nobody. Although I might turn one into a short. And if I do, I'll link it here. All right. I hope that made sense. Check out some other videos if you need to. Bye.